How to send final request to remove inaccurate information, send this fourth letter to Inovis. Inovis failed to provide proof of investigation, reinvestigation, and method of verification disputed accounts? So, send this fourth letter to the Credit Bureau. Please, follow the link in the description to start filling the form. Now, you can start to fill out the form, begin with your first and last name at the top, an example John Doe. Next, enter your current address, the same address as mentioned in your ID or driver license. Address Line 1, 123 Example Street, Unit 1. Address Line 2, New York, NY, 123456. Choose your document date. Scroll down, and enter your first and last name exactly as they appear on the driver license or ID, John Doe. Then, input your social security number, 123456789. Date of birth, October 30, 1975. Enter your current address again, 123 Example Street, Unit 1, New York, NY, 123456. Next, enter your phone number, 123-456-7890. And an email address you own. Example at example.com. Under the text, sincerely, need to enter your first and last name again, John Doe. Now, you need to provide copies of two forms of identification. Upload your ID or driver license copy to the document left side and your social security card to the right side. In the notary section, please enter your first and last name again, John Doe. Next, scroll to the fourth page, Exhibit D. In the table, you can start filling up your disputed items, let's say, creditor example LLC, next enter account number, 123456. In the second line, you may input debt collector example LLC, reference number, 567890. In the third line, you may input bank example LLC, unauthorized inquiry. Next enter the date of inquiry, November 1, 2019. Also, you may dispute the wrong address, employer name, or any invalid information reported on your file. An example, 111 Example Street, Apartment 2 Miami, Florida 67890, erroneous address. Remember, you have the legal right to dispute one or numerous accounts in your credit report. Under the Fair Credit Reporting Act, the Credit Bureau should comply with your requests. Good job, your document is ready. Check your personal information one more time, and click to the Buy button. Proceed with the payment to download and print out the document from your computer. Before the final step, you need to notarize your document. Be sure to keep the original copy of the letter for your records. Finally, send the letter by USPS certified mail. Certified mail is best because it guarantees that the company receives it. That way, they can't say they didn't get your letter. But, if you are busy and don't have time to drive to the post office, we can do it for you. Please resend your document to email usps at idispute.org and we'll handle all the legwork for you in a quick and convenient manner. No need to buy print paper, no need to print a document, no need to buy an envelope, no need to drive to the post office, no need to stay in the line. We will mail your document and send the USPS tracking number to your email within 24 hours. Important. You can keep a document copy on your computer, but it's better to keep a hard copy of the one you sign and send. Always keep a copy of the document, certified mail receipt, payment receipt, so you have a record. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like and share it with your friends. Looking for a particular document form, kindly leave a comment below, and we will consider your request. Thanks for watching.